I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Real Expert. This video has gone out to J. Lee Magnetic. Apparently, my last two videos created a big stir in the world of weightlifting form, and he wants me to sort of run through all the exercises and talk about form, whether it's important, whether it's not, some of the things that we need to be aware of. Well, I, I can't talk about every exercise, but let me just talk about certain exercises and then talk about general concepts of lifting heavy weight. Remember, we are trying to train or strain our muscle beyond its normal confines. So that means we're going to have to eventually handle more weight for additional reps and additional sets. Now, if you've never ever handled heavy weight, you don't have to worry about moving because it's really easy to lift light weight and stand statue still. But as we begin to lift heavier and heavier weight, our body's going to move a little bit. And sometimes it makes a bigger issue on certain exercises and other times it doesn't. So let me see if I can run through some exercises and sort of open up people's minds a little bit as it comes to form. And that we don't have a chicken little, the sky is falling mentality. And we also don't act like asshole jerk offs and be tough guys virtually. Because I'm telling you, if you call Justin some of those names, he'd pull your arms off if you were standing in front of him. Now let's look at things like bench press, because that always seems to be a big thing. You always hear people saying, he's bouncing the weight. Well, let me tell you something. If anybody pulls 405 out of the rack and bounces it up eight times, let me tell you something, brother. That's called power. I don't give a crap what they're doing with it. If you can lift 405 for 8, you got some big crazy strength because that's bone crushing weight. Now, naturally, we don't want somebody arching off the bench to the point where they're going to fall off the bench, but if somebody lowers the weight rather rapidly and gets a little bit of a bounce, do you think that's really driving the weight to arm's length? Hell no. Okay, because 405 is bone crushing weight. If you don't think it is, try having somebody hand it off to you. It is big crazy weight. So the fact that somebody can bounce it off their chest a little bit means they're manhandling 405. That's pretty impressive. Let's talk about curls, standing curls or dumbbell curls. If you move a little bit, that takes pressure off the lower back. It takes pressure off the shoulders, which is really what you want to do when you're lifting big weights. You want to take pressure off the joints and the insertions so you don't have to worry about it. Now, if you're flopping over backwards as you're curling this weight, yeah, obviously, you're not handling the weight well. The weight's handling you. And there are a lot of guys who train with us who try to curl the 70 and the 80 pound dumbbells and they're flopping all over the place. And we go, hey man, why don't you go a little lighter? You know, we make that look easy because we've been doing it for a while. And we're preacher curling 135 and 145 and 155, but we've been doing that for a while. So why don't you go lighter? So yeah, when I see guys trying to train with us and they're lifting weight that's too heavy, yeah, we want them to go lighter. But also, let's think about this exercise, leg curls. Okay? When you're going to start off your first real working set with leg curls, and that weight's heavy, and you've got to get it up for the first rep, wouldn't it make sense to, let's say, arch up on the bench if you're doing a lying leg curl, so you can bend your leg just a little bit to, let's say, 90 90% as opposed to being it straight at 100%, that 90 or 95% takes pressure off the hamstring so it's not stretched so tightly. It takes pressure off the joint too and the insertions. So as you then come down, you can lift the weight up and start your first rep that way. Man, that makes sense. But some jerk off is going to be standing on the sidelines going, hey, hey, no, 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 you got to keep your chest flat on the bench so your leg's perfectly straight. So when you try to start the rep, it puts crazy pressure on the hamstring, which is known to snap or stretch a lot for a lot of exercises. But if we bend the leg, take pressure, take some of that tension off the hamstring, uh, we avoid injury. And when you're doing the exercise, you don't straighten your leg completely. You go to about 95%. Therefore, keeping tension on the muscle but yet not to the point where it's overextended. Same thing with pull downs or any type of rowing exercise as opposed to straightening your arms all the way and letting the shoulder get pulled out of the socket you keep some tension 
on the arms and the shoulders and the elbows. So you straighten your arms to about 95%. So therefore, you don't risk injuring the shoulder. See, but people who don't handle heavy weight don't understand some of these concepts because they're always handling light weight. And those are the people who never seem to get any bigger. Or guys who are, you know, training on supplements that you and I may, might not be taking. Now, when it comes to things like, let's say, squatting, Guys are always like, oh, you got to keep your feet this way and that way and this way. Really? Well, we're not all built the same. Some guys need a wider stance. Some guys need their feet pointed forward. Some guys need their feet pointed out. You know, it really doesn't make a difference. What makes a difference is that you handle the weight, handle it safely, and you can handle big weight. So if somebody is leaning forward and leaning over, yeah, that's bad form. That's dangerous on the lower back, absolutely. If somebody's not doing their deadlifts correctly, meaning if their ass is in the air, and then they pick the weight up with their lower back, oh yeah, that's, that's dangerous. Okay? So we have to look at these things with an open mind. And again, if somebody is throwing around weight, you know, then yes, you know, we have to look at it from a sense, you know, of, of common sense. But again, when Justin's doing the front raises, when he stands, he does that with 100-pound dumbbells. And, you know, when he gets to the top, he might drop his weight a little bit to take pressure off the lower back. Because, again, holding 100 pounds all with one arm puts tremendous pressure, not only on the shoulder, but on the lower back, the spine. So by the time you get it up to arm's length, if you drop your weight a little bit, that takes the pressure off the lower back. But, again, if people never, have never done that, they wouldn't know. So you have to keep an open mind, and you have to think about these things. What makes it easier for me to handle this big weight? Because even if my form isn't absolutely picture perfect, I'm able to handle the bigger weight. So then when I go down to the lower weight, it is easier to handle, and I can handle it with less cheat. But remember, when you stand statue still for any exercise, it does create a lot of pressure. Now, again, there are some exercises where you do want to stabilize the body so you can lift it, you know, correctly. But just calm down a little bit with this craziness. You know, I've never seen one guy come up to us and go, Hey, you know something? You seem to be bench pressing those 130s a little sloppily there, big guy. Really? Because everybody wants to be tough virtually, but nobody wants to be tough in person. So again, just think about it with an open mind. That's all I'm saying. If what you do allows you to handle the weight a little bit better and a little bit easier, that's what matters. Okay? And like John Wayne said, you know, life is tough. It's even tougher if you're stupid. So try to keep an open mind. That's all I'm saying. Oh, and one other thing. You know, if you're handling big weight, if you're throwing around big weight, and some dude wants to shoot his mouth off and go, Hey, dude, you're throwing around that big weight. You know what throwing around big weight means? It means you're strong. Now I'm done. Train smart. Train hard.